What's going to be more difficult? Prepping now or starving later? Or maybe you're going to be one of these people that sit there and say you're going to be waiting for the government or FEMA or whoever to ride in on their white horses and save the day and give you whatever you need. That's not going to happen, folks. They'll be riding in on their white horses, all right. But they ain't there to save you. I can tell you that right now. That's why at this point in time in a game, we're on our own. We have to stick together as a community. We have to make sure that we're doing what we can. We try to give people information. We try to help people out. We try to do all that we can do. And we thank God for what we have on a daily basis. Because the days of affordable living are out the window, folks, at this point in time. Now, we're going to have to wait and see what's really going to take place. Like I did say with the uh, the house coming in, um, the new house coming in and everything. Uh, but then again, they've already had their, you know, their first like news conference and all this. And what did they talk about? They want to know about Joe Biden's son with his laptop. Did anybody say anything about, oh, well, let's see here. We have high interest rates. We have high inflation. We're in a recession. I don't give a shit what they say. Uh, just look at everything that's going on. You know, I mean, it's all written right there. Nobody's talking about this. It's either we're going after Trump. Now we're going to go after Biden. You know, like I said. We have to come to some type of agreement here, folks, or this country is going to go down to the tubes really quick. I'm stating a true fact. Until we can come together as one and try to work together, like I said earlier, we don't have to be on the same page, but we have to make sure that we're trying to work this out. We have to start thinking about our families. I'm sure a lot of people out here, maybe you have kids. Maybe you have grandkids. I have grandkids. I have kids. I worry about them tremendously, about where this country's going and what my grandson's going to be going through and what he's going to be paying for. Think about it. Somebody's got to pay this bill. Yeah, it may not be us. We could be dead and gone. Somewhere down the line, in the next 50 to 100 years, somebody's still going to be paying for all this stuff that's going on right now with us being in so many trillion dollars in debt. I think the last time I looked at what, what was it? 30 some odd trillion. I don't know. Is anybody out there? know? put it in the comments. I, now it has turned more into survival mode for a lot of people. They've been thrust in survival mode. What do I, what's more important? Buying clothes. For my kids, putting a roof over their head, food on the table, making sure we have heat in the wintertime. Because not all of you live down here in Florida. Those are some pretty hard decisions to make, isn't it? Very. I mean, I can only imagine what a family of four must feel when they go to work and they come home, they get their paycheck on Friday, they pay the bills. If they're lucky enough, they get the groceries and there's nothing left. Any emergency comes up, your car dies, you got to buy a battery, there's 200 bucks. Where's that going to come from? You need brakes on your car. There's another 250 to 300 bucks. You need tires. Depending on what kind of car you got, could be setting you back over a thousand dollars. You see where I'm going with this? We have to make sure that we're following the fundamental guide of being a prepper. Number one, we take care of our family. The whole goal of being a prepper is you're taking care of your family. Number two, you're always trying to make sure that you have either money set aside. You have money that you have turned into silver 
or gold. Depends on how much money you do have. Gold is a little out of the question for a lot of people. Silver is very affordable for more people than not. So you do have some cash on hand. Three, you always have an emergency fund of some sign. You know, you, you could have, you don't have to have tens of thousands of dollars in there. But if you had enough to cover your bills for one month, what happens if you get in a car accident? What happens if you get sick or in the hospital? If you have enough in your emergency fund to cover your bills for at least one month, and I'm talking your car payment, your rent or mortgage payment, food, and any fuel that you may have to be buying as far as gas for your car or fuel to heat your home. So if you can cover yourself for at least one month and have emergency funds set up, that would be a huge bonus for a lot of people. You also want to make sure that you do have plenty of food. 